Okay, same builder 11 installation is straightforward. Just double click and uh, follow the instructions. Install. Again, uh, it does not show you um, installation directory, but it will be C drive, program files, and then same builder. The same builder, okay. Test the uh, same builder to exe. Okay, let's create a new project Java FX FX application. I will use the same name. Java FX Hello World. Previous project already removed. Okay, this time idea is we are using um, Sim Builder for UI design rather than typing manually by hand. Same problem we have uh, first time when you create the projects. You cannot reach to um, some FX and FX uh, modules. So we need to add a library because Java 11 does not come with the Java FX library. So program files, Java, Java FX SDK, directory then library so we can add uh, java fx library to the project now the warning disappear now we can set uh, java sim builder java fx Pass the sim builder, C drive, program files, send the sim builder. Okay, make sure you select sim builder to the exe. Okay, apply. Okay. So if you run your project, again you may face certain errors. Okay, JavaFX runtime components are missing. Okay, it means we need to add VM options. Okay, same VM options. Module pass to JavaFX library. Leave one space and then add module. Let's try to launch our publication again. Okay, this time it works. Now I will show you how to use Sim Builder to design user interface. Okay, the sample comes with a grid pane for simple demonstration I will add one button. Okay, button, I will change the label to OK. Uh, FX ID, I will say BT and OK. BT stands for button. And the on action, BT and OK handler. For event handler. 
save it. Then go back to uh, IntelliJ. So we can see that there is a button and the button OK. We can create a um, even handler method. Controller implements initializable. We need to uh, uh, implement the abstract methods. It's called uh, initialize. For our button implementation, I would say um, JavaFX Hello World. Run main. So I just quickly demonstrated how to use SimBuilder to uh, to do um, UI design. So we already collect the SimBuilder, so we can just open it. Let me add one more um, UI control. So I will drag and drop label. For label, I say um, LVR message, LVR stands for label. Save it. So we have a label. We can create a label message. But let's uh, implement LBA message. Set text. I may use the same message. So when we click OK buttons, uh, it's going to print it out of FX Hello World on console. Also, it will uh, print it out that message to label object. Let me learn it whether it works or not. Okay, okay, now we can see a message also on console, JavaFX, hello world. Actually, in practice, um, BTN OK is supposed to be there as well. And uh, it should be declared as a private, okay? And uh, there should be a private. And then also FXML uh, prefix should be there. Here, click LBA message. It give me warning, is it? Um, either you put a prefix or you declare as a public. So I prefer to declare as a private, then let me put the prefix. Okay. Again, um, if you learn it, uh, we should be able to use the exactly same thing. Thank you.